Hi everybody and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This time focusing on project backups and project settings. So this is going to be a very very technical tutorial. Let's start with looking at the system settings. Here you can set the project autosave interval. So Scratch will save the project anytime when you enter the player or exit from the player to the construct or exit the project or if you push Control s or Command s on the Mac. However, Scratch also has an autosave interval. So every 300 seconds per default, Scratch will save the project data to the database file. You can increase or decrease the interval in which Scratch saves the project data up to 3000 seconds. You can disable the autosave function inside the user settings and set it to manual if you like. Note that the autosave function only applies inside the player. Another setting to look at is the project folder, which is the folder that Scratch should store our projects in. Per default, this is stored under Library, Application Support, Assimilator, Project. So inside here, there's a folder for every project that you create in Scratch. And if we go to our current demo project, which is called Project Backups, you can see there's uh, this project.db8 file. And this really is the heart of our project. It's the database. And as soon as you enter into the project, let me do that quickly, Scratch created a project.bak. So what has happened? Basically, upon entering the project, Scratch duplicated the database file and renamed it to bak. And now Scratch is working and writing to the db8 file again. All right, if I exit the project and enter it again, we will see Scratch created a project.1.bak file. So this means that now Scratch again duplicated the BAK file and relabeled it to project.1.bak and also duplicated the project db8 file and relabeled that duplicate to BAK. So now we have two backups of our current database. The BAK file, which is a bit uh, newer than the project.1.bak. And if we do it one more time, See, Scratch creates another backup file. And if we do it once again, you can see Scratch created a third one. So now the project.3.bak is the oldest backup that we have, and the one without the number is the newest one. Now, like in any system, it can happen that for any reason, such as a power failure, a project gets corrupted. This is fortunately rare, but any user should be prepared to face and resolve this stressful eventuality. To recover a project from the backups, first copy the whole project folder to a safe location, so you have a backup of the current status quo. Back in the original project folder, delete the db8 file and rename the .bak file to .db8 to make it the project file that Scratch should use when you enter the project the next time. Depending on which .bak file you choose, you will go back several steps. Now, it's a common habit when something's not working right to exit the project and re-enter it again. As long as you do that once, it's okay, because it potentially could indeed fix things. However, once again, when entering um, the project, our oldest backup gets thrown away and overwritten by the second oldest project backup and the potentially corrupt database will be backup into the project.bak file. So the corrupt data from the original database gets now copied over to the backup and the backup file is pretty much useless. So if you exit and re-enter the project four times you will have overwritten all those backup files with the corrupt data from the db8 file. 
So this then makes your backups pretty useless. However, there are rare cases where the project file is that corrupt that Scratch can't even enter it. But still, Scratch will pull a backup from that project. So if you experience any strange behavior, the first thing to do is to copy and backup your project folder, or at least the project folder in question. So let's have a look at another setting. If we go to the system settings, preferences and to the advanced tab here, we have the project db backup count. Per default it is set to 3, so if we look at our project backup files we have 3 backups after the uh, initial backup file. So if we enter the project once more, as you can see there's not a project.4.bak, but every file got overwritten with the new data from the db8 file. But you can increase this backup count to 10. So if I now enter the project, as you can see Scratch created a project.4.bak. And if I enter once more, a project5.bak and so on. So this is a good way to maintain more backups of your project database, just in case uh, you have nervous colorists who are exiting and entering their project multiple times in case it becomes corrupt. Of course, you also want to maintain more backups, for instance if multiple people are working on the system and the chance exists that they overwrite each other's work. Anyhow, you're responsible for backups. Do create a daily backup of your projects on an external location. This concludes the tutorial about project settings and project backups. As promised, it was very technical, I hope it was still useful for you and see you next time. Bye!